like story that give like more impact to you and make you stay in humanitarian. What best the most ever the story you, you give some things for the needs. All right, so you want a bedtime story. <laughs> yes, something like that. A bedtime story. Another, another, but I was asked this question about 10 days ago. Because it's a story that makes you like motivate every day, make you why you are here. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Samira. Samira. Samira was Bosnian who was four years old. Four <coughs> years old. 1995, somebody called Maggie O'Kane was a writer or columnist in The Guardian, and she wrote a whole page, March 1995, something like this. The girls were, uh, or, or, or uh, problem or stake is to become a Muslim. Who is Samira? Samira is one of two daughters to somebody called Sabriya from Zvon in the east of Bosnia. The people there from the other uh, groups killed her father, her uncles, about eight male members from the, from the family. Then they captured her mother and took Samira, the girl, and their sister Amira and their mother Sabriya. Sabriya was 21 years old. This is the story written by, by Maggie O'Kane. And then they read her mother seven times a day. Seven times a day. After separating the two girls from her. Okay? And even at the time of raping her, one of them cut some part of her breast to be sadistic, animal, okay? Then after that, the mother was not actually enjoying what happened to her, but she was suffering, torture. Because at the back of her mind, two daughters, what are they, okay? And after they did what they did with her, they told her, go to pick up your daughter from the next school. She went to find Samira completely naked, with blood around her legs, and froth coming from her mouth. The mother forgot what happened to her earlier by seven men in the room. Continuously. And she picked up her daughter to see if she's alive or dead. She was alive. Then they traveled from where they were to where to a place called Tuzla. And the mother discovered that she cannot, that her daughter cannot go to the toilet properly. She went to the doctor. The doctor discovered her private parts and discovered laceration, cuts. And he discovered that she has been raped. A girl at the age of four was raped. And when they asked them, the girl, what happened to you? She said, I don't know what happened to her. She said, an, a, an old man came and touched my head. And she did not know what's going on. I, I will never forget this story. Because it's very painful. I don't know where Samira now, but I knew that she had been uh, immigrating to she was when they went to America. Like most of the Bosnians went to Europe, America, some other countries to live there. This is Samira. If Samira is your daughter, or your niece, or your neighbor, or your sister, will you be able to sleep? No. Because Samira is Bosnian. Will sleep, will eat, then we feel happiness, but she's away from us. All right?
Thank you.